In this video, we're going to be using Denton Magic Hot Laguna Nights and the Leaf Berry Blue Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome in, welcome in. As you know, Leaf is a sponsor of this channel and I purchased this berry blue version of the Leaf Razor from Leaf just because I love this color and I love using the Leaf. If you plan to buy something at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB and save yourself 5% off. And thanks so much to Leaf for sponsoring the channel. So the razor for today is going to be the Leaf Berry Blue Edition. I'm just a sucker for blue. I love it. And I love using the Leaf razor uh, as well. Don't forget, folks, the Leaf comes with a lifetime warranty and a 30-day return. So if you don't like it within 30 days, return it. Nothing to lose. Give it a shot and see if you like it. I also ordered it with the kit, which came with this nice case and a stand and some other things which I won't show you right now in the interest of just getting on with the shave but we're really looking forward to using this today. The blades in here are the half blades that come with a uh, leaf just for the record. The soap for today is Denton Magic and this one is Hot Laguna Nights. Now this was sent to me by Denton Magic so what I always like to ask when I use something that's sent to me for evaluation would I buy this with my own money and we'll find that out uh, as the shave goes on. This comes to you for $20.50 for 5.5 ounces and on a cost chart there. That is a good price of $3.72 per ounce. This is a very nice scent on this soap and I'll put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Lemon, bergamot, mandarin, musk, oak moss are some of the notes. It's very nice. I like the scent a lot right at that medium scent strength level, which I tend to appreciate. And this uh, was quite easy to lather. This is in their tallow base. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen uh, right there. And I have enjoyed using Denton Magic. And one of the things I like about Denton Magic, it's a new artisan, but he has tried to keep his prices reasonable and that's becoming more and more important. So I hope you will definitely try Denton Magic and see what you think about it. And we'll see whether or not we would buy this particular scent in Denton Magic uh, as we use it. So let's get into it. And again, welcome in. I'm so glad to have you here today. We're going to be doing some content when time permits, talking about a few things. One of the things I want to mention today, again, I'm going to do a separate video on this is, um, you know, if you saw the unboxing with the Zaharoff, uh, my initial impressions just based on the opening of that was very positive And then the dry down was not good at all. And so I need to revisit as soon as I have time and make a video just to let people know that, listen, this started out okay, but then it dried down to a weird musk, almost a metallic weird. It was musky and also a sort of metallic, a weird something. It just didn't agree with my skin at all. And so I didn't want to leave that unboxing just out there without addressing the fact that it did not work out, that fragrance. And so it's probably the only fragrance <laughs> you'll ever see me speaking to or one of the few, let's put it that way, because I have no intention to get into to fragrances, even though I have quite a number of them, it, it's just not my thing. This is my thing and I love doing this. And so thank you so much for being here to support that effort. I really appreciate you. And thank you to Denton Magic. And Denton Magic has been around, what, maybe, maybe a year now making soap, somewhere thereabouts. He's, he's uh, had a slow and deliberate approach and I'm gonna tell you that lather is not bad at all so great job Mark on I know he's been tweaking and he mentioned the other day he actually commented on the video that he is really trying to keep his prices reasonable and thank you Mark for that we are definitely going to be speaking to that look folks I'm just going to be uh, completely open honest and transparent um, this is a beloved hobby to me and I want people to be able to afford to get into it and what's happening right now with some is just it's just too much so someone needs to push back and that person is going to be me and i hope you use your voices as well folks listen this stuff most of us have plenty of it we don't have to buy this it's time for us to use our voices and say no that's too high that's too high we're just we're not going to do it we're going to buy dent magic we're going to buy sterling we're going to buy a crown and crane we're going to buy people who are taking buy products from people who are taking care of us someone has to speak up I founded my channel on, on calling it like I see it and it's not gonna change now. We're still gonna be positive, don't get me wrong, but being positive doesn't mean you ignore things that are glaringly problematic. And right now, some of the uh, increases that we're seeing, we saw one yesterday from fine, $4 on a bottle of Splash. No, no. 
we will be speaking to that and, and we'll speak to it and then we'll move along. And you know, that's the way I'm going to handle it. So just be prepared for that. All right, let's get going with our leaf here. Nice and smooth as always. These are three half um, double edge razor blades in here. And so what you can do is either you can buy the blades already half, like if it comes with if you order a razor from Leap, or you can snap your double edge razor blade in half. And Leaf, especially if you're coming from cart razors, is a nice and smooth transition. Now, one of the things I want to caution you about, um, when you're using the Leaf razor, you have this part up top and you want to make sure that that's on lather or you have some residual slickness because if not it'll hang you know it's just metal on skin so make sure that you're shaving lathered areas or you know that like i know on my face right now even though most of the lather is gone there's still good residual slickness from this dent magic soap so two things one make sure you know you're, you're keeping the the razor wet there so it's going to sort of mix with your soap and keep it slick and when you do it's a very nice smooth experience the leaf does pivot like uh, some of the cart razors do it's a it's a very intuitive uh, razor to use see right there where put it up there too high there's no soap that's what you want to avoid and i'll always tell you when i make a mistake so that was one right there you want to try to avoid putting the razor in areas where there's no soap or at least residual slickness. So that's my sort of guidance uh, with using the leaf. But it is nice, it is smooth. Sort of put it into place and just let it pivot for you. And if you're coming from carts, that's gonna feel pretty natural relative to going straight into DE or SE. Uh, DE being double-edged razor, meaning it has two edges. You can shave with both sides of the razor. But I have always enjoyed, since the first time I used Leaf, using the razor. Now let's talk a little bit about the soap here. Transitioning. Very nice. Very slick. Great scent. I love it, Mark. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, just based on what I'm getting from the scent here, I would buy this. No question. The price is right. The scent is good. Um, very nice. And I forgot to show you. Maybe I'll show you here in just a moment. Mark tends to put a poker chip or something in the, I don't know if he does it in all of his soaps, but it's like a scooper, which is really cool. Just, you know, I would say Mark is, he's working to get your business. So I hope you'll give him a chance. And, you know, try the product and just see if you like it. It's out of Michigan. And let me show you real quick. Um, there is the poker chip, which is a scooper. So really nice touch. You have people like three, four, five Dent Magic really working to earn your business, doing extra little things, trying to keep their prices reasonable. And I do want to say that I do understand that in this climate there there has to be some increases, but some of the increases are just whack. And let me tell you, uh, for those products, they're going on a train to Wackville, and you will see that. So just stay tuned for that. Because if, if you are behaving in a whack fashion, you're going to Whackville. That's going to be, be a new segment on this channel, so just stay tuned. We, we've always had something like that. We had the gong before and now. Whackville, soon to be populated with its first member, so stay tuned for that. And I know some people probably won't like that. Uh, I apologize, but it has to be done. Someone has to speak out, folks. Don't just sit quietly. Don't just sit quietly. Tell these people, no, that's too much for me. I'm going to go buy something else that's competitive. And so you have a voice, use it. That's my recommendation. All right, let's get back to the shave. We are having fun with this one today because, uh, you know, with, with hardware, it's a lifetime investment, a lifetime warranty on this razor. So if something goes wrong, you know, Leaf is going to take care of that. So we're good there. And this soap is well priced. We're good there. So we are feeling good about this shave. And, you know, every once in a while, I will definitely treat myself to a to a soap, something like the Murphy and McNeil Great Bear is an example of a treat yourself. So would I buy the Kodiak base at whatever it was, $6 maybe an ounce every day around the clock? Absolutely not. Would I buy a special one? Yes, but also keep in mind, Murphy and McNeil has Aon, which is affordable and that's important. That's important. So folks, just keep these things in mind and understand that it's never personal, but it has to be said because no one else is going to do it, quite frankly. You know, 
because there's such fanboyism and zealotry, brand zealotry in this hobby that people refuse to speak with candor and uh, someone has to do it. And I've always been someone who would do it and that's not gonna stop now. Despite the objective of being positive and trying to promote the hobby, you can still be positive while keeping it real. And sometimes when you keep it real, you have to say things that sometimes people aren't gonna like. And so stay tuned for that, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll try to do it in a way that is uh, a way that is very direct uh, with, with full candor but also with a little bit of humor and then we'll move on you know we're not gonna beat something to death but we will speak on it so if you find yourself uh, in that category of just you know being preposterous with these increases relative to the product you sell you're going to Wackville it's that simple <laughs> If you're out there being nasty to other artisans, like uh, I'm not gonna mention this because this happened in the past, but if I see this, I'm gonna mention it again. I saw some uh, one artisan uh, just, or actually someone screenshotted where that person said the leaf was trash. Now, if someone had said that about their product, they would have been all up in arms and, and yelling day and night and trying to rally the, the troops. And that's just, things that are unacceptable. And uh, if you do it, and I'm aware of it, you're going to Wackville. <laughs> and it's just that simple. That's the way we're gonna do it. And so um, now when things are tight, we need to, again, take care of the people who are being good, not only to us, but to others. And uh, so today we have two companies who are treating people right in my opinion. Leaf has always been helpful to many of us in the community. They are supremely helpful in bringing people from the cart world to, to double edge uh, and single edge shaving, which is super, super helpful. They use their advertising power to bring new people in every single day. Super helpful. And you have Dent Magic here, who's kind of just getting started, but he's trying to, he's struggling. He's fighting to keep in the game. And right now he's choosing to keep his prices at a good level to, you know, for you. And so I hope you'll show some appreciation. And don't forget, you know, there's plenty of others. Now I know some, some folks have had to increase and there are some really good people who are gonna have to increase. And some of them have told me they are. But if you look at the price per ounce on those increases that are coming, they're still reasonable. So I'm not gonna have a problem with that. So folks, I ask you once again, let's, tear, let's take care of each other and let's take care of those in the business who are taking care of us. Uh, always a nice, smooth, easy going shave with the leaf. And I love the scent on this. And Mark sent an aftershave sample too. So I guess he's getting ready to do splashes. Awesome, I like that. And Mark and Dent Magic also has some scenting oils and he'll have this one as well, which is awesome. This is a good scent. I don't know if it's based on something, but I do like it. Let's put it that way. So, all right. We have got a nice shave today. We've done a lot of talking and we're just prepping and doing the groundwork for things to come, folks. And I hope you don't mind that today. We are still happy. We are still positive. We are still uplifting. But we're going to be, you know, we're going to be using our voice and our platform to let people know, you know, and I hope you'll join me in that. Because, uh, look, we the hobbyists foot the lion's share of the bill in this hobby. We have a voice. Let's use them. All right. That was excellent. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off their Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which I love. I had an excellent shave today. 
with Denton Magic. This is Hot Laguna Nights, and I have to say, really nice scent on this very solid performance, very good price. I hope you'll give Denton uh, Magic uh, a shot. I would definitely buy this with my own money, and more Denton Magic soaps are in my future, especially since he's keeping the prices reasonable. So I hope you'll support Denton Magic. All right, the brush was the Yachi Aqua, and it's in our Lancaster Redworks brush soaking mug. And the razor, of course, I just recently purchased from Leaf, and this is the Berry Blue Edition. I absolutely loved it. And don't forget, Leaf does sponsor this channel, so use discount code IMCDB if you want 5% off with your Leaf order. And I love this razor. I've used my Leaf razor so much, and my twig and thorn, just great razors at Leaf. And finally, we are going to finish it off with an aftershave sample that didn't magic scent, and this is the Hot Laguna Nights Splash. And we look forward to, if we can get it out of the bottle here, <laughs> I can't get it out of the bottle. Well, that didn't go as planned. It smells great, I can tell you that. Let's see if I can do something here. I think there's a vacuum in there. Yeah, I don't know. Boy, that is hard to get out. I'm gonna have to slap it and sort of get some out this way. Don't worry, we will get it. Folks, the way I'm gonna end the video today after putting some of this splash, got a little bit there, that smells great, is to tell you, take care of the artisans who are taking care of you and keeping value in mind. Remember that until next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been your host, CDB. Remember, take care of those who take care of you. See you next time.